If there was ever somebody who was truly a definition of a true fan, that would be Chuck Ross. No matter what happens, Chuck is here and he's cheering for us. Chuck doesn't care if you play two minutes a game or, or 38 minutes a game. He's going to cheer for you, and he thinks, you know, he thinks you're great either way. And that's what a real fan is, is somebody who cares about you, whether you win, whether you lose, whether you're a star, whether you're a sub. It doesn't matter to Chuck, and, and that's what a true fan is. I thought we played real good tonight. Real good ball team. I can tell so many stories uh, about Chuck. I remember take, we have to take him home in the ice storm sometimes. His mom had a car wreck one year. Year we won it. Jerry Bridges and I got to get to take him home, and I never said, "Chuck, what do you like best about being a Chris being a Christian?" He says, "Well, going to church and Christian ball games," <laughs> and that's pretty much Chuck's life. He's just been through a lot. He is an encourager, and that's his, his purpose. When he runs down that hallway to make that talk in the team room, you don't get in his road, and he's fired up, and we're going to beat whoever the nickname is, and he tries to find the speech, and it, it makes those, lets those kids have a chance to be kids. It's impossible not to care for somebody that, that cares as much as he does about you. I mean, Chuck, Chuck loves the players on the team. He loves the program, and the players love Chuck. And we give Chuck a hard time, but we give Chuck a hard time just like uh, you'd give a member of your family a hard time. It's all right for you to pick on your brother or your sister, but let anybody else do it, and it's going to be trouble. And that's kind of the way we feel about Chuck. You know, we can kind of kid around, and he can kid around with us, but let anybody else uh, you know, let anything happen to Chuck from outside the team, and, and he's going to have 12 guys looking out for him. Well, I know what turns me. We got to play ball. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what does confidence mean? <laughs> well, you got to think. You got to use your mind. There you go. Yeah. 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 So, What's make plays mean? Well, you got to make plays. You got to do what the coach tells you to do. You know, when he, uh, we had to have some uh, Wednesday night devotionals in the playoffs, and when he reads the Bible, you know that that when he reads the Bible, that they listen, because I think it just makes you appreciate what you have. Chuck's done a lot and had a big impact on a lot of people without having all the advantages some of us have. Um, maybe he's been blessed in that way. Some of us maybe we can't handle everything we got, but uh, he's in Lipscomb Hall of Fame. He richly deserves to be there. Chuck, you were selected to the Lipscomb Sports Hall of Fame. I think it's a great honor, and I know that you're richly deserving of that honor. I just want to know what your feelings are about that. Well, I'm glad to be in there with a, a friend of mine named Steve Flatt. <laughs> well, Chuck, I'm honored to be in there with my friend, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate all you do for this university and the way you encourage people. you got to run that one more. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. And you got to play God's defense. Yeah. yeah. Roast, are you ready? Yeah. Are you fired up? I'm fired up. Oh, you better be fired up. Now, you better sprint down here. These guys are waiting for you. Now, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Fire it up. Yeah. Let's go. Get going in there. Go run over Eric. Look out, Eric. Yes. Let's go. Did you shave? Yes, sir. Oh, you didn't. She haven't shaved in a month. Morning speech, okay. Now, Chuck, okay. just imagine in your mind that every bison that's ever heard a speech from you is sitting out there right now. Like there's Ernest back there, but it was really Willis. Yeah. And there's Willis, but it's really Ernest. <laughs> Had a little trouble in those early years. Everybody looked the same to you, didn't they? And then in the front row, who else did he screw up where he couldn't know the names? Who are some of them you didn't know? Could never get John Wild. Could never un Whoopi. well. Wolfie. Yeah, that's right. Wolfie, that's right. Well, I can understand, you know. Now, anybody else you had trouble knowing their name? What about Doug? Yeah. Rodriguez. Well, Doug, you Doug, yeah, you know. <laughs> Chuck, you got to shave, my man. Are you running for a contest or something? Or no. what's it doing? No. Okay. Well, I'll notice the famous Chuck Harris. And some of you, 
I've sure chucked on your list of what would you do for a million dollars. Remember that? That's legendary. Okay, Chuck, the speech, where is it? You got to jump for it, buddy. Let's go get it. Let's get it. One, one, two. Oh, hey. Okay, let's read it out, Chuck. All right. Okay. All right, Chuck. Now you're ready for this one. Now yell it out, Chuck, so people can hear it in television land. May the 29th, 1999. 1999, Chuck. Chuck. Bisons versus Screaming Eagles. Hello, Bisons. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Are what kind of Screaming eyes? Eagles? Bisons versus Life Screaming Eagles. Okay. Hello, Bisons. Shut, Shut up, Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> the speech I give today will be one in the past. It is definitely not my first, and I hope it's not my last. The speech I give today will be like ones in the past. It is definitely N-A-T-E-L-E-Y, not my first, and I hope not my last. I'm just reading this for you people out in television land. Okay. The team room here still looks and smells the same, <laughs> and I'll still hope I still know how to spell my name. Big A, little A, R-O-N. Big A, little A, A R-O-N. Keep going, <laughs> Louder. Okay, now keep going, speak. The three Stooges noise are the same of the best. Make noise. I think you may have forgotten a line, but I think And call. And my cough. My cough still passed my test. Any test. Any test, Chuck. Cough, Any Chuck. Coughs. Cough, cough, Chuck. Chuck. Cough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my body is still filled with aches. My body is still filled with aches. 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 <laughs> but there is no one thing hard for hard me. For me to take. Uncle Don will be gone and McQuitty is going down, but I'm just wondering who will haul me around. <laughs> the Titans are here and the Predators too, but as you know, I, I'm still a sound the whole, the whole summer. summer through. Just like me, you will be a bison as long as you are living, not just because of what you got, got because of um, all you have given. That was great, Chuck. Ad lib, Chuck. Ad lib, Chuck. And live, Chuck, what we got to do? Got to play defense. Well, well, one thing, Chuck. <laughs> These phrases, what's this one? I'm tired of losing. Well, did you remember when you said that that one time we were 18 and 0? Yes. Yes, okay. How about this one? A big, 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 uh, they're from Henderson, Henderson Tennessee. Tennessee. Breed Hartman Dines and yes. Bears. Yes. What's this? Abadurex. Abadurex. And what does that mean? Nobody knows. I don't know. <laughs> what is this one? Don't believe the hype. Uh, the hype? What did you used to call it? Hype. Oh, uh, you. Hippie. Hippie. <laughs> Hippie. <laughs> what about this one? No, what about this one? The Rose. Who's that? Me. Who's that? Chuckles. Who's that? Me. What about this? I've got a toothache so bad. And when did you say that? When we beat them and beat them bad. And who was that that we beat and beat bad? Remember that time Martello nanked your tooth out? Yeah. At Rockhurst? Uh huh. Before we played Emporia State? Yes. And what did you say about the Hornets? Uh. Did you say something like, I got a horny ache so bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Did you have to go up in front of church then? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, what's this one, Chuck? Beat them and beat them bad. Okay, right. let's hear your ad lib, Chuck. <laughs> tell these guys what you want to tell them, Chuck. You got to play defense. You got to get your hands up on defense. You got to block out. You got to get good rebounds. Hey, what's this? And you got to rub the buckle. <laughs> oh, the buckle? <laughs> what is that? The bison. That's right. Not the big bison, though, huh? Nope. Nope. Okay, Chuck, anything Chuck, you want to is there anything you want to tell the guys now? This is your chance to say to all the guys what you think. I think you guys played real good this year, and I'm hoping to have a good season this, this coming year. All right. We're going to miss Don and Jason. But not Coach Huddy. But not Coach Huddy. Because <laughs> Coach Huddy's going to be here with us. <laughs> We even go with Emily and Carmen. Oh, well, that's nice. That's nice. Anything else? Are Emily and, and Carmen staying or not? <laughs> We're going to be the former players a long time ago. Anything you got to say to them? We don't care. Hey, what is this? Sea, sea dogs. No? Sea hogs. Uh, what is that? What's, what are they? I don't know. Well. <laughs> Okay, anything you want to tell any of the former players? You want to tell them thanks for being nice to you? Yes, I want to thank Phil Punches for being so nice to me. And Wade Thomason, even though his little boy died, and I'm sad about him. And I really like Wade, even Alan Banks and all of them. Even Alan Banks. <laughs> and Ricky Bowers, too. Oh, my God. Did you know Ricky Bowers has got braces now? I didn't know that. No, he does. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you're going to need them. You need braces if you don't start flossing your teeth. Now get flossing. Okay. Even Ernest and all of them. <laughs> and all the players that were here this year, I'm going to miss them all. Anything else, buddy? But I'm hoping that Adam will come back here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but that's a good one. Anything else, buddy? And I'm going to miss Herman that used to play because he was a good friend. Well. Okay, what else, Chuck? Anything else? You can go miss Don and Jason. Okay, good. <laughs> anything? You got anything else for us, buddy? You can go miss Andy Lane, Coach Lane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going into other sports now. That's good. Hey. Why don't you rub the buckle for him yeah. one good rub time? Rub the buckle yes. one more time. <laughs> okay. And let's stack it up. Rub, let's, uh, head. rub my head. There you go, buddy. All right, now let's okay, let's stack, stack it up, up bud. Let's stack go. It stack it up. Go count it, Chuck. Count it. Oh, on, I'm sorry. Man. Count it up. You count it down. One, two, three. Two. Okay, right, Chuck. Buddy. Right. Okay, we're good, buddy. Okay, it's going to be hard to progress from there. Let's go on up, Eric. <laughs> Chuck Ross, I'm the number one fan. You know me as the telephone man. I've got a toothache. Maybe it, it's a hunch. The biases are the loving bunch. We're not here looking for trouble. We just came and did the Kansas City Shuffle. <laughs> 